Welcome to HortTube. My name is Jim Putnam. In today's video, I'm gonna be using my chipper to chip up some of the limbs and brush where I've been pruning off some other plants. I'll link the videos where I've been pruning up in the corner of this video. Uh, I'm gonna do that at the end of the video, just show you how I make chips with my wood chipper. Really basic operation of cramming limbs into it. But I wanted to address something else before I get started on this, and that's using wood chips in the landscape. There's a gentleman named Paul Gotchke, who I'm probably butchering his name, who has a technique called the Back to Eden gardening technique, where he actually applied a very thick layer of wood chips to the ground to create his garden. He's in a, an abnormally dry area and his well uh, wouldn't produce a lot of water. And so he came up with this technique by observing the woods and just the natural way that things operate. If you look behind me, this is these trees back here, nobody's taking care of them. This is a closed loop back here. These trees are dropping leaves and they're dropping whatever debris, limbs and whatever, onto the ground. And then other animals are defecating in there and they're creating nitrogen. It helps that stuff break down. The microbes break it down and it's just a natural cycle. It's just a perfect loop built in there. And so that's the technique he used. He brought that technique out of the woods and applied it to his garden. He put down this much wood chips, which is probably a hundred years worth of things that the uh, trees would have dropped. So he basically just put the whole system in fast forward. There's a couple things that people I don't think really understand about his system. I think people think you really can just go out and put 15 inches of wood chips on the ground and just start planting in it. It needs some period of time to break down. I think you probably need a year because uh, there's going to be some heat in it. But the main thing I think people miss from this is that it requires some nitrogen replacement. He has chickens in his garden, and as he said, they're an important component of the way the system works because those wood chips do need some nitrogen to break down. They'll take it from your plants if you don't offer it some additional nitrogen. So he's occasionally applying some compost, and of course the chicken's droppings are full of nitrogen. So that's the way the system works for him, and it's a closed loop system. It truly is amazing. Now, how does that apply to suburban landscaping uh, like I'm showing on my channel? Well, I do chip up all of the material that I'm going to use, and I just generally will use it in areas for cover where I'm not doing any planting. I plant in the ground in my area. I get plenty of rain. I have backup water if I need it. I have clay soils that have a low pH, and there's iron in the soil. It's a perfect combination for woody landscape plants. Not a great combination for annuals, not a great combination for vegetable gardening, for sure. And his technique will be absolutely perfect for me to use uh, to do a vegetable garden that way. But in terms of should I build up this much wood chips to put in an azalea when I have a clay-based soil below it, and if I amend that slightly so it drains okay for that azalea, that azalea is gonna be happy forever. So it's really, what I'm trying to say in this is that if you have good planting soil or the soil works for the thing that you are planting, I would just use that technique for sure. But I, like I say, I do chip my stuff up. I'm going to use it in any area that I don't plan on planting for a while, giving this stuff enough time to break down because I definitely don't want it mixed into the soil. That's the main thing to learn from his technique. That stuff is all above the existing soil. He did not mix it into the soil. If you mix it into the soil, it takes away the light and the air and then the, those pieces of wood will definitely break down improperly under the soil. It'll smell bad. Uh, it'll rob nitrogen from your plants. Definitely not a good idea to mix any of that stuff. The only thing you want to mix into the ground is things that have already been composted and don't need any additional composting. Again, it's a technique to be used on top of the so ground. I don't know if it has a lot of benefits in suburban landscaping other than creating a vegetable garden if you have poor soil, annual beds, those types of things. One other point I'd like to make on the Back to Eden gardening technique is that he didn't plant all of his plants and then put down 15 inches of wood chips. That's not how it happened. He put down the 15 inches of wood chips or however, whatever depth it was, and then planted into it. After some period of time, after that system started working well for him, he planted into it. You can't do this with existing plants that are already in the ground. There's some plants, there's some plants you can. Some plants can be buried as high as you want to bury them and they'll just root out from those areas. But most woody trees and shrubs will not tolerate you putting 15 or 18 inches of unbroken down organic material up on the wood. And that was the point of my two videos that I did on mulching 
killing landscape plants, which I'll link right here. But anyway, I'm gonna show you real quick. This is not a, a video to teach you how to run a wood chipper. You'll have a different chipper than I will. Some of them now are electric. This is a gas one. The electric ones are pretty inexpensive if you want to stop burning or throwing out organic material that you're collecting in your yard. They're fantastic. One thing you need to know on these wood chippers is that you need to chip the stuff pretty quickly after you cut it. Uh, these can overheat. The blades can actually overheat if you put in dry material. You can use dry material, but you need to rotate back and forth between wet material and dry material. There's definitely a balance there, not too wet, but fresh limbs like this pile that's in front of the camera here and some other things that I've cut off over here are absolutely perfect to run through it. The moisture that's in the branches will help to cool the uh, cutter inside the machine. The things you definitely need with any of these chippers are a good pair of loppers to uh, prune off any of the side branches so that the branches slip into the chute a little easier. The top part is where leaves and very small stems and sticks go and your limbs go through this front chute. And I'm doing some willow oaks here and they have all these crazy side limbs on them. So I just use some loppers to uh, clean those up a little bit. You definitely need hearing protection, eye protection, and gloves when you're operating these. bag off real quick and show you this it reduces that material down to absolutely perfect mix of wood and greens that is easy to spread very quickly the bag on the side of it's perfect for carrying it around the yard um, a lot of times I won't put the bag on it I'll just let it throw it out in a certain space and then I'll move it and cover that space next so that works pretty well as well, but this is absolutely perfect mulch. But like I say, not for an area I'm gonna plant in very soon, because I definitely do not wanna mix any of this wood in with the soil till it's broken down some. Thanks for watching my video, and if it was helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for future videos. Also comment below with any questions you have about mulching. Thanks for watching.